I was inside of a broadcast TV show and the head of lights asked to have some faders to operate the intensity of some areas on stage. But he could not decide what kind of control. Submasters for reduce or sequences to add more intensity. For him I build a fader that's in neutral by 50%. If you pull it down it reduces the intensity and when you push it the stage will be brighter. And every time it depending from the actual output of the main cue. I call it designer fader. I will show step by step how to create this and in the end I will give a macro for a fast workflow. And also in the end I will tell you what's up with the cats. First I will create a new fixture. For this I go to setup, patch and to the menu fixture types. I click into new for a new fixture. I give a name and a short name. Choose the fixture and click edit. Now I can choose the attributes. I need a dimmer and I need two more channels. They should be dummies and I find them at control. Later one of these will be for subtraction and the other one for addition. The dimmer is virtual and the dummies get the DMX channels. On the right side I will connect them to the dimmer. I need to give the default value to 100. Now comes the magic. We leave the fixture type area and go to DMX profiles. Here I will create individual dimmer curves. One for subtract and one for addition. With edit it's possible to create an individual dimmer curve. I can add some points and decide how the DMX channel should react. At table mode I can give values directly. This curve will subtract the intensity later. It will start at 0, 0 and should have maximum value at 50% fade away. The addition channel will use the second half of the fader. It starts at 50% and goes up to 100 in the end. These curves are fine and I go back to fixture types. Here I connect the curves with the dummy channels. Now I have to patch the fixture in a new layer. My DMX channel will be start at Universe 1, channel 25. Patch is done, so I leave this menu and will store this fixture with 100% to an executor. Now I push the fader and you will see how the two DMX profiles react. At 50% the first channel will be already full and the second one starts to work. The fader will be neutral at 50%. For quickly go there I will give a command. Now by pushing the go button the fader will be back at 50%. Some adjustments in the option menu are important. Auto stop should be off. Priority should be on super and soft LTP should be off. Label done. For example I have six dimmer channels in a sequence. Q1 with 30% and Q2 with 70. I assign a submaster for the first three channels. Beside I store a sequence with add full for the same three channels. Here also some adjustments are necessary. Up to the option menu, auto stop at off, priority should be at high 
and often overwritten must be off. Last step, I will connect my designer fader over DMX remote with this Bose executors. Over setup, I go to remote input and DMX remote. I need two new lines. First should react at dimmer 1.25, the second at 1.26, the two channels of my designer fader. Both will access to an executor on side 1. First on executor 2 for my submaster and the second one on executor 3 for the add sequence. Both are faders. After start my sequence with lights in 30%, I'm able to use the designer fader to give less or more intensity. Also, when I change to the next queue, the value of the first three channels will be brighter, in relation of percent I gave with the designer fader. Now I reduce the channel to 40%, and the first three channels will stay reduced, every time in relation of the designer fader. The head of light has also full control over a group of lamps with only just one fader. For sure, there are too much steps to program during a rehearsal. For this, I have a workflow to do this very fast. Inside of my startup show, I reserved three pages for just this. On page 72, I have already programmed a line of designer phases. With my swap button, I have an easy control to go there. The pages 73 and 74 are reserved for all submasters and add sequences. The DMX remote inputs for 30 designer faders are prepared. To connect the fader with a group, I use a macro. When I start this, following will happen. I will get asked which group I like to connect on which fader number I like to have it and for the final I give a name. Done. The designer fader is all ready to operate. The connection to the designer fader is working with DMX remotes. It will be no problem to move them. And here you can see the macro. If you like, you can download it on my website feeds.de I'm Feats. Thank you for watching this Granny Made 2 hack. If you like, please give me a thumb. And if not, please let me a comment below. And what should I say about the cats? All cats are beautiful. <laughs>